Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hi, good Hello. evening. Hello. How are you today? Yeah. Very good, teacher. Okay, thank you. Very good. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay, so today is the last class, right? Unfortunately. Okay, so let's wait yeah. one minute because we cannot wait too much for the rest of the people. Okay, but hopefully they will be coming. Do you have your manual and everything uh, handy, very handy, available over there? Okay, in the last two weeks, what, 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 uh, what, what he, what, what do we have been talking about? Have we been talking about the present or the past? Uh huh. Where are the topics? The past. Ah, we have been talking about the past exactly. So things that we use, uh, we do in the past, uh, past activities, okay. Okay, oops, no, I, here we are. Okay, today is our uh, final class, guys. So um, uh, this is, uh, we're going to close this uh, module. Uh, help solo in a good way. So I hope that everything works okay. And so what today, what is, what, what day is today? What day is today? Tell me. Thursday, November. No, uh, 23rd. Uh -huh. And the year? 2023. Uh, 2023. Another way that we can say that? Uh, 2023. 2023. We can say uh, 2023 or 2023. Some people do it and it's okay. It's not a problem. Okay. So today is our last class. And oops, oh my God, didn't I put every uh, something over there? Okay. Let me just. Um, here we are. I know what happened. I didn't keep it. Hi. I lose. Well. Okie dokie. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about this uh, vocabulary. So the, the topic is, um, what is, oops, man, what's happened to me today? Okay, here we are. So the topic is, what's the topic? that we have over there? Word power. Ah, the word power. And on the word power, we have what? 
We have. We have. A school days. A school days. Between the school days, we have this is like a, like a, like a, a, how do you a chronograms things to put in order. Between the school day, we have what? We have what do we have on your left? Classes. Classes. Then we have what? With history. Uh, uh huh. But we have classes, uh, schools, and, Place. and, places. and places. Okay. So um, in classes yesterday, uh, do you have your manual over there available? Okay. In classes, what do we have in classes? What classes do we have on the list? Uh, history, history, math, math. math. language, dance. Uh, and then we have science. And which one are you missing over there? Uh huh. Science, and we are missing. Okay. So this the things that we have over there. We have history, math physical education, science. Between those subjects, which one do you like the best? Uh, who wants to answer that? Which one do you like the best? History, math, physical education, or science? Well, uh -huh. for me, it's history. Ah, for you, history. Good, yes, yeah. that's, a, that's a very important subject, okay? And for you, Emily, which one was it the best? Between these ones. I'm doing a survey right now, by the way. <laughs> uh huh. Emily? Podría ser college? Uh, it can be college. Okay. But college is general. Uh huh. The, the subjects. We're talking the subject. History, math, physical education, or science? For me, for example, it was history, like Mino says, history. It was my favorite subject, but it depends. Uh -huh. My, my favorite math. subject? Uh -huh. Emily? History. History. And for you, uh, who says something else? Uh huh. For you, Miss, what is it? Did someone say math? Yes or no? Okay. For me, no much. Ah, ah, Sylvia, Sylvia. Yes, uh, Sylvia? Yes. Which one, which subject uh, was your favorite? My favorite subject is math. Ah, it's math, because you're good at mathematics, right? You're good at math. Yes, I am. Okay, good, excellent. And what about you, Tatiana? What's, what, what is your favorite subject between those? I like science. And why do you like science? For me, math. Uh -huh. Oh, math also. Okay, good. And uh, uh, Marilyn, what about you? Which was your favorite subject? Uh, my favorite subject is math. I math also. You're good at mathematics. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, so yes, for example, me, I like history because I like to read. I like to know everything about the above uh, the world and what's happened and now these days what's happened before and um, I'm not good at mathematics unfortunately zero for me mathematics and not zero but um, uh, not good at mathematics to be honest okay but I, it's incredible because I, I remember that I was in high school I like science 
but science, uh, not, not physical, like not the, the numbers, but the part of the, the, the other part of science that they call it biologia <laughs> because <laughs> I wanted to be a veterinarian. So that's, that's, that's the thing. Okay, schools, what is school, what words can we use in schools over here? From the list. Uh huh. Tell me, please. Uh, college. Uh, yeah. co college. Okay. What else? College. Elementary. Elementary school. Uh huh. What else? What other? High school. High school. What other? I think junior high. Did uh, you? Uh, junior high school. Yes. Ah, man, what's happening? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so college, elementary school, high school, and junior high school. Okay. So those are the, the vocabulary that we use. And in college, what's the difference between the univer the university and college? What is the difference? Do you know any if there is a difference between college and uh, university? What is the same? Uh huh. Who would like to say something about it? Please don't be afraid. Anything that you say will be okay. Ah, okay, Glenda. Yeah, the traffic was terrible today. Okay. Uh huh. What is the difference between college and university? Uh, I, I think, I, I think, and the, the university no, mm -hmm. no nos obligan por decirlo así. Ah, okay. Okay, <laughs> might be. Uh, you're not forced to do over there. Okay, might be. Uh huh. Uh, who wanted to say something about this? Uh huh. Besides, uh, Don Julio, someone wanted to say something. Uh huh. Uh, yes, Robert. Uh, uh, there is there is no, no uniform. No, I, I don't know. Ah, okay. Uh, ah, okay. okay. <laughs> the difference between college and <laughs> university. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Remember that you never stop learning. The difference between college and the university. Uh, college, we study technical careers. The careers are not longer than three years, okay? Technical co careers. So that's why, so we can start working as soon as possible. And uh, university, there are professional careers. So those careers require five years if you're studying any engineering, lawyer, to be a lawyer or anything. So it's five years. If you wanted to be a doctor, it's eight years, at least here in El Salvador. So the difference is between a college, technical careers, a university, professional careers. So now, what is the difference? Tell me. What is the different? What is the different? Uh, rephrase what I just said. What is the different? Uh, it's, it's more. It's more long time for graduarse. Okay, shorter time to graduate from college than the university. Shorter uh, time to graduate from college university. So. Uh, because they are technical careers, like ITCA, for example, ITCA is a, is a college, okay, over there in Santa Tecla, and National University, Gavidia, and the rest of the universities are uh, professional careers. 
So they do not have technical careers, okay? So that's why it's a longer time at the university. Okay, so those are the things that we have over there. And uh, in, in places we have, at school, we have what? Just read them. Classroom. What is the other? The classroom. Yes. Please, guys, it's the last time. Don't be quiet. Uh huh. Classroom. Then we have cafeteria. Cafeteria. Then we have computer lab. Computer lab. Computer lab. Library. Then we have the library. Library. Okay. Let's uh, open microphones and say the words. The first one is on on classes we have. History. 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 Then we have math. 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 Then we have physical education. Physical education. education. Then we have yeah. science. science. Then in schools we have college. 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 Elementary. Elementary school. High school. High school. High school. High school. Junior high, high school. Junior high school. High school. High school. High school. And, so and so in some speaking countries, elementary school, they call it primary, primary school, okay? So, and so in some speaking countries. And then, okay, then we have places. Classroom. 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 Then we have again. Cafeteria. 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 And and computer lab, computer lab, computer lab, lab and and library, and library, library. library. Yes. Okay. So, and remember the library is where you go and read books. The bookstore is where you buy books. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, listen to how we pronounce this one. But you did. You did a good pronunciation of the words, but let's check it out. Page 104, exercise eight, word power. Part A, complete the word map with words from the list, then listen and check. Classes. History. Math. Physical education. Science. Schools. College. Elementary school. High school. Junior high school. Places. Cafeteria. Classroom. Computer lab. Library. Okay, so those are places uh, at the school. Now, we have a very useful vocabulary over there. Let me just erase that one. Okay. Uh, we have a very uh, good uh, vocabulary over there. So uh, we have, for example, the first one is, what is the word? College. College, uh-huh. And what is the definition? University. University, community, college. College, university, community, college. Okay, university, but a lower level than university with technical careers, but it's still as university. Okay, thank you, Don Julio. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, Marian, Miriam Janet, the next word. What is the next one? It's the elementary school. And what is elementary school? It's a school for children. It's a school for children. Good. Sylvia, the next word. What is it? Gym. The gym. A room where people exercise or play sports. Or oh, play sports. Uh, Abel Herminio, the next word. What is the next one? High school. And what is a high school? A school for teen, teenagers. Teenagers. Secondary. Uh -huh. Secondary school. 
uh, secondary school. You know what the secondary school is uh, like ninth grade. For example, they consider in, in the United States that ninth graders students, they are in high school, okay? That's considered high school, but they're really ninth graders. So in high school is 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. But in the United States, they consider the students from ninth graders, they are in high school. Okay. Nubia, the word, the next word, What's, what is it? What is it? What is it, Emma? Junior high school? Uh, no, the, 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 the next one, history. Uh -huh. Nubia? The study in history, the uh -huh. study of import past event in the world. Okay, important past events in the world. Yes, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Jacqueline, the next word, what is it? The next word, what is it? Jacqueline? Elsa Cecilia, the next word, what was it, Junior? Junior high school. Uh huh. And what is it? High school. Um, high school between elementary school and high school for young younger. Uh, younger, younger. Uh, young teenagers. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Teenagers. Young teenagers. And uh, let me. And do you know what is uh? Uh, do you know what is uh, young teenagers? What is a teenager? A teenager. Son adolescentes. Uh -huh, but uh, how old are they? Yes, it's an adolescent. Uh -huh. How old is okay. it? Sería entre las edades de 13 and 19. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 13 and 19. Between... Uh, between the ages uh, 13 and 19 years old. So years old. That's why they, they are called teenagers. Why? Because 13, for example, the word is written, the word is written third, third, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 13. So because of this, I think, uh -huh. so because of this, the last thing. Okay, good. So that's a uh, junior high school, okay? And they are teenagers. That's why they are called teenagers. And um, okay, who, let me see. Uh, don't mind copying. Um, okay. Uh, the next word, what is the next word, uh, Chrissy Elizabeth? Lunch. Chrissy Elizabeth, the, ne the next word is? Lunch room. Uh-huh. And what is uh, it? A large room in a high school or mm -hmm. office where people eat lunch. It lunch. Good, excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, Ana Gabriela, what is the next one? Mm, physical education. Education in... In developing... Developing... Uh -huh. Are you there? Oh, uh, you got maybe she got lost a contact. Okay, so uh physical education is education in developing the body, especially through especially through exercise and sports. Okay. Are you with me? Okay, the next one, minor. What is the next word? Uh, okay, um, playground, a large uh -huh. area type 
uh, school where um, a student played during lunch and breaks. Okay, good. Uh, Jacqueline Lorena, the, the last word, what is it? Jacqueline? Okay, Marilyn. Marilyn, what is the last word? Hello, Marilyn. Uh, science, the study of biology, chemistry, and physics. And physics, biology, chemistry, and physics. Okay, I will send you this uh, over there. Let me just erase that one. Ah. Um, all the drawings. Okay, so that's uh, some useful vocabulary. I will say goodbye sending to you, I hope. Okay, first day of classes. Do you remember a first day of school? Do you? No, uh, I no. am very young. <laughs> okay, you were very young. So I was very yeah, young also. Mean. Maybe I was okay. I was ki killed. Ah, okay. So uh, you were very young. And what about you, Senia Esmeralda? Do you remember your first day at of classes? Me pregunta o no? Ah, uh, no, no. Do you remember the first day of classes? How how the classes were? How they were? How uh, was teacher, it? Escuché muy cortado. Ah. Uh, if you remember the the first day of classes, but in in, in real, Don Julio said that he doesn't remember. Mi primer día de clases en el kinder. Yeah, do you remember that something? Or oh, in, in first grade? Yes or no? Mm, solo me recuerdo que no lloré. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't remember me. I don't remember very well. So I don't think that we remember very well. So let's discuss the first day of classes on here. You know, for example, what is what is the 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 picture that you have over there? Is uh, are you in the classroom or were you in online? The online. picture. Ah, we were online. So let's talk about this this class, okay? The the first day, day of class. So ask me the questions. Raise your hands and ask me the questions. And I will model what you're going to do. Uh huh. Um, Marvin. Okay, Marvin. What did you wear, teacher? Um, I remember that the first day of class uh, uh, here online, I was wearing a long leaf shirt. I think it was this one. And I, I was wearing jeans and tennis shoes. Okay, good. Don Julio, number two. I remember the fifth class. Uh, Uh -huh. I, I, uh, ¿qué? ¿Cómo, qué no sé cómo decirlo. Este, de, decir what? I, I forgot in my classes. Ah. I don't see you very well. Ah, okay. You didn't see me very well. Okay, Don Julio, ask me question number two. Were you early? I forgot my, cla my class. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't see you very well. Okay, good. You, you didn't see me very well because uh, you didn't have your glasses. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Don yes. Julio. Okay. Good. Excellent. And uh, eh, Ana Gabriela, ask me question number two. Uh huh. Ana Gabriela. Eh, minor, ask question number two. 
were you early, late, or on time? I remember that I was on time. <laughs> I had to be on time. Good. It is Catherine Andrea. Question number three. Okay. Um, you remember where did you sit? Uh, yes. The first day of classes, I sat uh, downstairs in my house. I was not here. Uh, after that, because of the noise of the sun kids, I moved here. But I sat down in the living room of my house. Okay, good. Thank you. And uh, uh, let's see. A Ana Graciela, number 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 uh, four. Ask me number four. Ana Graciela. Eh, Tatiana, ask me number four. Who wants to ask me number four? How did you feel? Um, I felt uh, a little nervous. Even though I have a lot of experience teaching English, I felt a little nervous. It was the first day because you don't know who the students are going to be, how they will be. So, so... I felt a little nervous. Okay, who wants to ask me number two? Number five. Who was the first person you met? Oh, I don't remember. I saw like they were like six or eight students over there. I don't remember, unfortunately. Um, uh, I didn't... I. Do not uh, remember, unfortunately. Okay, who wants to ask me number uh, number five, number six? What did the teacher talk about? Oh, what did you talk about? What did the teacher? Well, let's suppose that I'm a student. Um, it was about. Uh, it was about. I believe it was about New York, right? Was it about New York that we were discussing the Statue of Liberty or something? No? Or yes? Do you remember? Okay. Uh, who wants to ask me number number seven? Uh -huh, number seven. Who talking the most, the least? Uh, the most. Uh, you want me to say the name? You really want me to say the name? Uh, I think it was Don Julio and Glenda that they was to talk to the most, but all of you talk. <laughs> okay, so, and the last question is how, ah. Okay, so, so, so that's that's over there. Okay, I will ask some questions on, to some of you. Uh, Tatiana, uh, what do you wear on the first day? Try to say anything you like. Uh-huh, Tatiana Michelle. Uh, Marilyn, what do you wear on your first day of classes on this course, at uh, this module? Ah, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Jacqueline Lorena, do you remember uh, what? They... I, I uh -oh. blue jeans and a uh, and a red t-shirt. Ah, okay. You wear a uh, jeans, blue jeans, and a red t-shirt. Okay, good. And. Uh, uh, were you early, late, or on time? Uh, Marilyn, do you remember? I was early. Oh, you, you were early. You always early. Okay. Who want to answer number uh, number two? I need like three or four. Uh, please write it on the chat. Write it on the chat. Were you early, late, on time? 
you say, I was. Write it on the chat, please. Your answer should be like this. I was, and then you say, early, on time, or late. Write it on the chat. Ah, you were early. Ah, you were on time. Good. Okay. Uh, ah, there is, uh, I have another early. I have another, I was there. I was on time. Good. I was, uh, ah, you were always, uh, you are always on time. I was always on time. Good. Excellent. Okay. And uh, where do you sit? The answers should be, let me see the answer. I sat, uh, let's say in the, and then you say in the living room, in the, in the bathroom, uh, in the hall, okay? I sat in the living room, in the bathroom, in the hall, so please write your answers over there. Like this, okay? Write your answers on the chat. Oh, I sat in the living room. Good, thank you. And who else? Okay, who else? No more answers. Okay, ah, I got I got another one. I sit in the in my room. Okay, good. Okay. Great, thank you. Okay, and number four, write on the chat, please. How do you feel? The answer should be like you completely. Uh, I I felt I felt nervous, scared, insecure. Uh, I feel I felt okay. I felt confidence. Okay. I felt happy to learn. Good, excellent. I felt happy to learn. I felt nervous. I sat in a seat at the end of the room. Okay, good. Okay. Remember that you're producing the language. When you write, you're speaking English. Okay. Okay, and applause to all of you. I felt a little nervous. Good. I, I knew that you can <laughs> you can write. Okay, good. Excellent. And the next one is I got a, I got another. Oh, I feel nervous. I feel gorgeous. Ah, you feel happy about it. Okay. I feel excited. Who's my who's going to be my teacher? Okay, so okay. You know, me too. Now that I see the word excited, so I felt nervous, but I felt excited at the same time. Remember that I told you that one of the things that I do not regret, well, it was not you, it was the other people, the other group. So one of the things that I don't regret is being a teacher because I love to teach, okay? So I, I regret some things in my life, but I've been a teacher, never, okay? But even though I have a lot of experience on it, so the first day is always like a little excited and nervous at the same time. Good, excellent, guys. Uh, let me see. The other question is, who, uh, uh, okay, uh, let's jump a little bit on what did the teacher talk about it? And it says, 
the question, the answer in the chat should be the teacher talked about about uh, about about games, about life, about, I don't remember what was the first topic we had, but let's see what are the first topic about it. Uh, just let me, uh, let me just stop presenting this one and let me present uh, this one. So this is your manual, okay. So what was the topic the first day? Let's see what was it. Sorry, I'm not going to, I don't pretend to. Do you remember? Ah, what was the first topic? What was the first topic? The teacher talk about, uh-huh. Are you with me, guys? I remember that the teacher talked about the months and the no, dates. No sé si todos escuchan entrecortado, pero yo escucho. Ah, no. Sí, me sí, sí. Escucha súper complicado. Oh, yeah, I don't know if it is my... Se escucha bien robótico. Ah, oh, really? Con, con, con intercedencia. Yeah, I think it's my internet. It hasn't been very stable. Um, I think it's the internet. Uh, that's why I cannot send you to break up rooms right now. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, not a good day for me. <laughs> okay. The teacher talk about guidelines and rules. Uh, Extensive. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's let me. Uh, okay. Okay. So. Okay. Let's go to the reading. Okay, I want you to work individually over there, like uh, you're uh, you're not listening very well to me because I think it's my internet. It has been given uh, some problems. Who's the person over there? Do you recognize the guy? Yes, he is Ricky Martin. Ah, he's Ricky Martin. What uh, what does he do? What is his profession? The profession is singer. Ah, he's a singer. Uh, okay, he's a singer. Okay, and do you know where he is from? Do you know where he is from? Puerto Rico. He is from Puerto Rico. Okay, good. And okay, uh, is he very famous? Yes or no? Uh, yes. 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 yes, he is very, very famous. famous. Is he a good singer? Uh, yes. yes. Yes, he is a good singer. Is there any song that you like from him? Do you like any of the songs that he sings from him? Uh -huh. Okay, what is the, uh, Don Julio, what is the learning objective? Excuse me, teacher, I am, I, I have very sound here. Ah, uh, uh, okay, what is the learning, the learning, let me, the learning object. Let me change. Let me once. Mm. 
Okay, can you listen to me now? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Sylvia, read the learning object, please. Read in this book an article about a famous performer. Uh -huh. The Sylvia skills in scanning for specific information. Okay, so we scan is a, a scanning for a specific information. Okay, we're reading fast. Okay, so who is Ricky Martin? You already answered. He is a singer. He is who is Ricky Martin? Sorry. <laughs> no, he is a singer. Yes, the, you give the okay. answer. Who is and where is he from? I is, don't know. Uh, uh -huh. Someone else. Someone else said. Where is he from? He is Puerto Rico. He is Puerto Rico. He is from Puerto Rico. And what is he famous for? What is he famous for? For his song. Because of his song. Because of he. Uh, he's a good singer. Yes. Okay. So there is some uh, artists over there, but you have to, unfortunately, you have to work individually over there and um and and your man and your and your manual. Okay, it says, who would like to read the first paragraph? Volunteers. Who volunteers? Raise your hand. Okay, Sylvia, the first paragraph. Silvia? Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. Seven, seven, he mm -hmm. was always a performer as a shield and, and a peer in television commercials and studied singing. Okay, thank you, Silvia. Who would like to read no, the next paragraph? Volunteer. Raise your hand. Uh-huh. Marvin, could you read the second paragraph? At the age of 12. At the age of 12, he joined, joined the Latin boy band, Menudo. <laughs> he worked hard with them and he became very well now, but he left the group after five years. Good, thank you. Uh, Carla Susena, can you read number paragraph number three? Martin moved to New York. Martin moved to New York, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated tried it to the so he mo moved to me Mexico City Mexico. Mm -hmm. and get got a part on a Mexican soap opera, opera. Mm -hmm. uh, song after work mm -hmm. he record two Spanish language albums after this su success, he moved back. Said he moved back to the U.S. U.S. Okay, back good. to the U.S. U.S. Thank you very much. Well done, uh, Robert. Read number uh, the next paragraph. Back in the U.S. Back in the U.S.A. He, uh, uh, <laughs> he, he operated on an American soap opera, opera and in the in the Broadway show. Les Miserables, Miserables. Uh huh. Hello. Perdón. That's okay. Miserable, then he married 
his first English language album. Album. Thank you very much. And let me see. Oops. No, 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 no. It's the Lord. Sorry. Uh, let me see who else. Uh, that Ricky Martin. Uh, uh, Catherine Andrea. Yeah. Could you read uh, the rest, please? The album. Nubia Beatriz, could you read the rest? The album. Liquid? Yes. No, he is famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a report for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, uh, let me uh, let me read this one and, and listen. So it says, Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, on December 24, 1971. He was always a performance. Uh, he was always a performance. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and started singing. At the age of 12, he joined Latin, um, Latin boy band, Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated. So he moved to Mexico City and got a part of a Mexican sub opera. Soon afterward, he recorded uh, two Spanish language albums. After the su this success, he moved back to the US. Uh, back in the US, he appeared on, on an American sub opera and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. Hey guys, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. I got the contact for a couple of seconds. Okay. So um, after that, you have some words over there. For example, you have in Puerto Rico at the age of 12. What would be the question to answer in Puerto Rico? What would be the question? Well... Where, uh, where, 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 okay. <laughs> where Ricky Martin born? Ah, where, so where? the the answer is where was Ricky Martin born? Oh. Yes, yes, that you're correct. What about number the then number sec at uh, at the age of twelve? Look at the reading over there in your manual and try to say uh, what, what will be the possible answer at the age of 12. Yeah. 
When was Ricky Martin joined to the okay. Latin boy band Menudo? Ah, okay. Might be. Yeah, you went a little long, but it, it's possible. When did he join Menudo? Yes, you good. Uh -huh. When did he join Menudo? Mm -hmm. After five years. What will be the question over there? After, after five years. When was the star? When did he, when did he left the group? Ah, okay. Uh huh. Okay. So when did he leave the band? I uh, remember that we used did and <laughs> the simple form no, of the no. verb. Uh, on the simple form of the verb. Okay. So uh, when did he leave? the band okay um because he was frustrated look at the reading over there and we're about to finish why did enrique marty want to work Maybe? okay uh -huh. okay uh -huh. another possibility Okay, let's see what's happened. When did he move to Mexico? Ah, why? I'm sorry. Why? Why did he move to Mexico? Because he was frustrated. Okay. And what about Les Miserables? What will be the question over there? What will be the possible question? What is the first um, English language album? Ah, okay. But it, it has to refer with Broadway. Look at the reading over there. It has to it has to do with Broadway. Where I know, I don't know. <laughs> no, say say something. I mean, uh, it will be okay. The the idea is that you participate. Okay. Uh, it, there is no time. It's only three minutes, and I have to take the attendance. So what? Broadway show did he appear in? It was in Los Miserables. Living La Vida Loca, what was his biggest hit? This is the, the things that are uh, to answer the questions over there, okay? So, so this is, uh, this is, let me look, let me close and look for uh, the list. And ah, ah, no, I was driving. Okay, let me uh, let me look for the list.
Okay, Abel Herminio. Present, Mister. Ana Gabriela Alvarenga. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Aguirre. My present teacher. Elsa Cecilia Carranza. Present. Emily de Los Ángeles Villatoro. Present. Glenda Elizabeth Antillón Orellana. Present. Jacqueline Lorena Campos Chávez. Present teacher. Julio Antonio Orantes Herrera. Present teacher. Karen Vanessa Aguilar Romero. Carla Susena Ángel López. Present teacher. Catherine Andrea Sánchez Díaz. Present teacher. Tricia Elizabeth Portillo Chávez. Present. Uh, Luis Edenilson Díaz Valles. Marilyn Ruby Mulato. Present. Marvin Ruby, uh, Ruby Mulato. Present teacher. Minor uh, Alexander Areval. Abelar. Present teacher. Miriam Janet Villalobos. Present. Nubia Beatriz Rivas. Present teacher. Robert Alberto García. Present. Silvia Andrea Córdoba Sarabia. Present. Tatiana Michelle Pineda Gaitán. Present. Enseña Esmeralda Chávez. Present teacher. Ok, so... Ok, thank you for your participación. Fue un placer estar con ustedes. Espero verles muy pronto y pues ojalá tengamos la oportunidad de seguir trabajando. Bendiciones para todos. Cuídense y van bien. ¿eh? Solo tienen que practicarlo más, pero van muy bien. Los felicito y las felicito. Ok, bye bye. Teacher. Gracias. 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 Gracias.